Hey guys, it's Lori. Um, I just wanted to do a really quick share. I'm recording this on my phone, so I apologize for the movement and any mess you might see. Um, I made this bouquet uh, out of pinwheels, um, and the inspiration came from um, Muriel, who is Miss Cooper's Coop here on YouTube. And... Um, I'm not sure uh, where she if she saw it on another video. I can't remember, but I'll try to link her video down below. I'm um, sure everybody knows who she is. Um, she's a wonderful crafter. She's very talented. Anyway, um, she made a beautiful bouquet out of pinwheels with the We Are Memory Keepers pinwheel punch board or something like that. I'm not exactly sure of the name, um, but I know that they were... Uh, marked down at the, at the Michaels that I shop at um, on clearance like a few weeks ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. I'm not sure if they are still available or not, but um, anyway, I saw her, her bouquet and her pinwheels, the pinwheels that she made with that uh, particular tool um, came out different than the ones I made because I made mine on my Cricut. Um, and they're more like a traditional pinwheel, only they don't, they don't spin. Um, but hers were just beautiful. I mean, they were gorgeous. It was so full, and it was just so beautiful. And she put a lot of tool, I think, in there, and little things here and there sticking out of the uh, bouquet. And I think she had, like, a beautiful chain or some kind of rhinestone chain draped around. It was so pretty. But... I didn't have time to really do all that, and um, this is for my niece who's only like 22 years old, so I didn't really want to go too, uh, too much. I figured maybe less might be better, um, because she's not really that frou-frou and frilly and stuff like that. Um, but anyway... Um, I'm going to show you the bouquet now. <laughs> Sorry. I hope I can get it in here. Um, so here is the bouquet. And I wrapped the bottom with some material that I had. And then um, on t after I did that, first I taped them so they would stay together. And then I wrapped some white material to hold it. And I squeezed them you know, tighter so they would be, you know, stay together because they were kind of like sticking out in different directions, the straws, because I attached them to straws. And then after I did the material, I wrapped this pretty um, lace, lace that's kind of glittery. Um, and then I had to add a little different color at the bottom, but it's just for her bachelorette party, so I'm not really too you know, worried that she's, you know, I don't think, if something happens to it, it's not really a big deal, because it's just made out of paper and straws, so. And then at the bottom, Muriel put a beautiful dangle on hers, and I tried to, to replicate what she did, but I, mine surely is not ex like hers at all. I just kind of tucked it in there and glued it, and, you know. First I opened the ring that was on this and I had kind of attached it to the material and then I tucked it all in there and just glued it with hot glue. Sorry, my camera's not focusing there. And then I attached this little Eiffel Tower on there. And then, so this is supposed to be the front and then I glued little, um, I don't know what you call those things, little gems, little, I think they're buttons. Um, that you actually sew onto like material and things like that but um, I just glued this one's a heart and that one's a rose and um, her colors for her wedding are purple with uh, hints of silver so that's why I use the silver and I use the solid I don't really like that you can see kind of the straw but I figure you know, I was trying to figure out a way to, like, cover them up like she did. I think she put, like, tool and stuff down in there. But I didn't really have anything, so I just left it. And that's another little um, 
embellishment. And then here's another one, and I used a different kind of embellishment there, just like a flat back um, rose. And then I put some, these little things came off like a little pick that I got at Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. I don't even know if they still sell them because they're really old. I've had them in my stash for a while. Um, and then and then I used a gray one there. Um, I wish I would have had like more silver things to use, but I really didn't. So, so yeah, so that's kind of my, my little thing that I've been working on this morning. Before, before I go to work, I have to get ready for work. So I just wanted to show um, this and give a big shout out to Muriel who um, inspires us every day with her projects that she shares and um, this I you know as soon as I saw hers I knew I wanted to make one for my niece and I think that she'll get a kick out of it you know even if she doesn't keep it forever you know it's it'll be something for her to just to you know hang you know have while she, while she's at her party and stuff so anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you later have a good day bye